When considering whether you want to purchase the side-mounted cradle or the center-mounted cradle, there are several things um, that we can think about to help us make the decision. So first of all, um, I just want to say right away that the side-mounted cradle, which is right here, and the center-mounted, which has the arch over the tailpiece, um, they have the exact same capability in terms of their relationship to the tailpiece. In other words, the center-mounted chinrest uh, does not necessarily go over the center of the instrument more because the place that that post sits in relation to the tailpiece is the same. So when you move the side mounted chin rest all the way over as close as it can get to the tailpiece without actually touching the tailpiece, you'll find that you can rotate the lateral adjustment over the tailpiece just as much as you can with the center mounted chin rest. And in this regard, the cradle is different from every other ordinary chin rest. Um, so some advantages and disadvantages. Uh, overall, I recommend the side mounted uh, option because it does provide you with a little bit more adjustability because you can move the whole apparatus along the edge of the instrument. And we often find this to be quite helpful and it's especially helpful for people with say medium and longer arms, uh, bow arms. And you can watch another video where I talk more fully about the relationship of the instrument placement and the bow arm. But um, oftentimes people with longer bow arms and which also usually have longer necks, they need a uh, progressively more side mounted chin rest that also can accommodate the length of their neck. And oftentimes that goes along with they need more, uh, they need to bring the chin plate too closer to their neck. So uh, the cradle, you can rotate the, the post so that we have this lateral angle adjustment, right? So we can bring the chin plate closer to our neck, but then say we also need it to be more side mounted. That is only possible with the side-mounted cradle. You, you can't move the center-mounted more side-mounted and bring the chin plate closer to your neck at the same time, at least not to the, to the greatest extent. So the side-mounted does tend to be a little bit more adjustable. And in general, I can't tell a difference between the two in terms of sound. Some people talk about how the center-mounted uh, chin rests seem to work better with their instruments and I've also heard from others who have said side mounted chin rests seem to work better with their instrument. Um, I can't really tell much of a difference. Uh, that can be different for everybody. I would remind um, us all that that you know when you change the placement of the of the chin rest it's going to change the relationship of your ear to the instrument which which can account for some of the um, different like perceiving a different sound. Um, the reasoning behind a, you know, a center mounted chin rest um, is that the inside the instrument there's a, the tail block which is right here and the center mounted chin rest keeps the, the clamping pressure evenly distributed on that you know in, um, on the instrument around the tail block which it seems to be a little bit more structurally advantageous um, but I have had no problems ever using a side mounted chin rest with caution. I mean, you don't want to clamp too hard. We recommend that when you're clamping uh, the cradle onto the instrument that you just um, do it to the point that it won't easily pull off um, and, and not go a whole lot farther. We also use a thick rubber padding on the bottom of, of the cradle here, which has more friction than cork. Um, so you, you should, you probably uh, not need to tighten uh, the clamps as much as you might with other chin rests um, as well. So um, those are some of the advantages and disadvantages. Um, and so overall, again, I recommend the side mounted, but um, that this decision is in large part, you know, a subjective one and one that um, everybody has to make for themselves.